Yo, what's going on YouTube? Plumpy Man here. Uh, just doing another little video. Just uh, wanted y'all to check out my new toy I picked up. <clears throat> I did a recent video on uh, Glock 42 that I had. And honestly, I was impressed with it and liked it and all. But the reason, I don't know, I just wasn't comfortable with carrying just the 380. And the, it was a good gun. And two reasons. One, I wasn't comfortable. I'd rather have something bigger, uh, like a 9 or a 40, something like that. And two, ammo was expensive. Cheapest ammo I could find anywhere was uh, a little over $20 a box. And it was hard to find because everybody's got all these compact 380s. And I don't know. I just wasn't confident in it. And if it was something I was going to personal carry, like my EDC everyday carry, uh, I decided to step it up and get a little something bigger. And... Hopefully this doesn't show up down here, but yes, that is a blue label, by the way. Um, I went ahead and picked this up in the next town. Uh, there was a wait. I called one place that deals in uh, blue label Glocks, obviously, and they had, I think it was a hundred people, hundred guys on the waiting list for blue label Glocks, and there was another place, and they said they didn't have any clue how long it would be. I just have to get on it and they'd call me in a few months. Uh, I found out that there's another place in my state of Indiana that n hardly anyone knows about uh, that does blue label. I was reading a forum, this guy goes, hey, I just bought one. I know not too many people know about this place. Uh, and he told me the name of it, which was about an hour from where I live. So I called him up and they said, yeah, there's a waiting list. And I was like, ah, okay. And she said, but you'd be the second person on it. And I was like, really? So I went ahead and called. I put myself on the waiting list and uh, got this. The new Glock 43. Um, they come with two mags. One with an extension from Glock. Uh, one with just regular flat plate. Uh, I did a little bit of color fill <laughs> just to see what it was like. I'll probably do the other one later. But um, end up picking it up. They were... Uh, 380 uh, 380 bucks which I didn't think that was too bad for we'll go ahead and safety check it and nothing in the mag obviously and nothing visually inspected if you can see that I don't know uh, but nothing in there safe distance um, I love the thing I like I said I wanted something bigger I'm comfortable with nine I got a, a Glock 26 it does me just fine and I just wanted something easy that sometimes I want to stick in my pocket. I'm a bigger guy and I got big pockets, so this will sit in there. It's not maybe, I don't know, less than a half inch bigger than the 42. So I decided to go with the Glock 43. And you see it there. Um, pretty nice. Like I said, I took it out, shot it. It did uh, reasonably well. I shot some Winchester through it shot fine i shot 50 rounds of winchester i shot 50 rounds of um 10 ring nine millimeter which i had a video on that and i heard everything i seen online had like a couple good reviews but everything else was horrible reviews they didn't like it maybe this was newer or a different batch or something all i know is i bought 250 rounds of it on sale at dick sporting goods for it basically cost me $49 out the door for 250 rounds. 10 bucks a box. I wasn't going to pass it up. And it shot fine. I shot 50 rounds flawlessly. Nothing happened. No jams. No stove pipes. No nothing like that. Shot just fine. And I had... I got some ammo off a of buddy. Um, that... I don't know where it came from. He says that I traded to him. I don't remember trading it to him. Whatever. But it had some steel case ammo in it. And I don't... I don't never really shot much of any steel case nine millimeter ever well anyway there was about 40 rounds of it in it and i shot all them they shot flawlessly i shot it strong hand i shot it weak hand uh both hands and nothing i even tried to do it i even tried to limp wrist it with my left hand because I've, i never shoot uh weak handed but i even tried to get some failures with it and nothing everything shot <laughs> perfect and it shot real good uh, the only thing that happened when I shot weak handed was um, for some reason I ended up shooting like three inches to the left but I was still dead on just three inches to the left and but anyway I like the thing 
the my only complaint about it and it's not even really that big of a complaint is I'm gonna go tomorrow and buy some uh, grip tape and put on here on the front probably here right from the trigger guard and on the back I may do these sides I don't know but it is freaking slick and you need something to hold on to I will say that you can hold on to it pretty good if you both hand it but if you're single handing it it's not that I don't feel comfortable with it I'm gonna put something on it because it's slick uh, I, I watched some videos on Hickok 45 and he said the same thing which he always puts talon grips on it I don't know I don't nothing against talon grips I got them on my uh, I had them on my 17 I've had it on my 26 but I just want to try to do my own this time five bucks for a sheet of the grip tape or 20 bucks for one talon grip so I'm gonna go ahead and just buy a sheet of it for five bucks local skateboard shop in my town told me yeah just come in they sell me a big sheet of it for five bucks so yeah anyway this is uh my semi type brand new review on the Glock 43 Austria nine by 19 nine millimeter it's gonna be my new edc and yes i'm liking it it's i like you can see i got small hands uh but this thing fits me perfect it's just a tiny bit bigger than the 42 the 380 model but i really like it i ain't even got this thing really set in but i'm gonna go purchase some more ammo probably from dick sporting goods and yeah give it another whirl uh, yeah, this is it. Sorry this video is being so long. Uh, it's probably one of my longer videos, but please subscribe, uh, like, tell me what you think about it. Thanks.